Hey guys, Tin Man here. Hopefully you can handle the wind. It's a little bit of wind coming. But we get to see a beautiful specimen here. She's lost all her green. There's a number of this species of tree around that loses her green here. And they went into some kind of seeding. I don't know if there's the seedlings right there. Just look at this beauty, man. This is a work of art. It's hard for people to fully grasp what I'm talking about, but keep sticking with me, man. This is a work of art. And here we get to see is they've been working on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to look closely. We're looking right now to see if we can see any cuttings. Like if they get a little slip up and maybe cut something more than just peeling, because this just looks like the peeling process of some sort. Let's go up to this one here, see how we can do, and I'm not very, feeling very weak, guys. Let's go to this one that was right beside. You know, it's not like it's a simple little process if you don't want to leave scuffs. If you're trying to avoid leaving scuff marks, then it makes it a little bit more complicated. Because along here, these ridges where they become bigger like this, this is when I would look for a cut mark to see if somebody slipped up and cut. Get into areas in where it's tighter and it's harder for them to use their size maybe, whatever it would be. It makes it so they can do some cuts. Now, if I were just pointing out some things low like right there, you guys could easily be just saying, well, that was a bicycle or that was somebody just horsing around, maybe trying to climb the tree. Whatever little adventurous things we can think up. But what I'm trying to get you guys to do is open your mind to the dragons of possibilities here. The major possibilities. The different possibilities. Because these aren't climbing Issues. These are not raccoon issues. This is uh, a tree being uh, manipulated. And is it good for our health? Is it the proper way that we want these trees to actually be going through all this? Do we have to prepare for a change in our earth climates? In part, getting answers out of the tree changes. I'm the only person who's documenting the tree changes on this kind of a level of talking about they're being assisted. All the other science out there is a confusion of why there's so many different kinds of mosses going on, why there's so many trees that are being deformed and growing different. And I think you can really see this isn't some kind of a growing process. This is a picking at process and many of the times I show you where they're being cut at process so you kind of use it and take it however you want it's a stimulation of growth in here you might be able to see something nice peace out from the tin man please sub please share not like a begging please but it's time to get this information out there better really look at to what I've done to date I'm not being rewarded for it as of yet I'm just pushing and pushing and doing the best of what I can do to get this uh, phenomenon out there in a big way because if nobody else is doing it the way that I'm doing it then how does it get out it's just got to be a lot of there's a lot of different angles I come at from at it, guys, and I think you all can figure something out. Here's light touching here. See if you can see some scratch marks and scuffs. Some of them could be, as I'm looking, some of them could be natural stretch because they're um, 
tweaking the tree in such a way to to do a heavily eating still in this time of the season, which is, this is January, early January, where are we? Yeah, early January. Or no. Sorry about that, I'm kind of mixed up on the date. We're at the end of the month. We're at late January, sorry. Okay, so from the tip.